Hey everyone, this is Rob at the Retro Gamer. I uh, want to show you a Atari 2600 that a customer came in a couple days ago and sold me. Uh, when I first saw it, I, I thought it just seemed really weird. I uh, wasn't sure what it was. I, I knew it was Atari 2600, but uh, there were some things about it that kind of stood out. And it was the first one that I've ever seen. So upon looking on the internet, I realized that I had purchased a uh, Heavy Sixer, I believe they're called. And it was basically the first generation was actually made in California. Uh, so anyways, I wanted to kind of just go over it real quick with you and show you some cool things about it, some things I noticed, and, uh, and that's about it. So anyways, uh, the things that stood out when I first uh, purchased it or noticed would be the uh, actual font of the uh, switches. The, the words above the switches there are all in lower case. And I've got a four switch system here. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are all uppercase. So that's the first thing I did notice. Uh, the front of it, the actual logo uh, is embossed where on the later generations it's more of just, uh, I don't know if it was a screen print or a sticker or what, but so I noticed that. Um, if you look at the edges, they're actually rounded on the Heavy Sixer, and on the regular or the Darth Vader one, they're, they're more square. And I shouldn't say square. Uh, sharper edges. <laughs> uh, when I did start it up, one thing I always tend to notice on the normal 2600, that they don't really always seem to work very well. You have to kind of fidget with them, uh, like you do the NES systems. But right away, any game that I would stick in this uh, Heavy Sixer just worked right off the bat. I didn't have to do anything special to get it to function. So uh, I'm going to flip this thing around here. This is what I also noticed too. Actually, this is the first thing I noticed. Normally your switches and the description of the switches are up on the top here, and then the switches and the control ports for the joysticks are on the back right around in here but on the uh, Heavy Sixer, they're actually kind of in the very back. Uh, you got your video cable, power cord, a couple joystick ports. Uh, I don't see a uh, TV channel switch though. So it's either not there or maybe it's on the bottom. I guess we'd have to look. Um, but yeah, that's the one thing about the other 2600. You do have your, uh, your controller the difficulty switch at the top. There's your channel button right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, uh, basically selects between channels uh, two and three. Uh, on the bottom here, there's your uh, Sunnyvale, California. Um, I am not seeing that switch, so I'm not real sure. Either it's just not there or maybe it's hidden and I'm just... Uh, anybody knows where that switch is uh, post a comment and let me know but I just don't see it so anyways that's uh that's the heavy sixer there's I, I was reading online some people are saying that it was shielded better uh, that's why it was more aluminum in there but then I also saw conflicting reports about that so I, I'm not so sure about that what I do I did kind of conclude from on my uh, looking online is that the actual bottom part of it has a very thick uh, case made out of thicker plastic than the other Ataris did so I'm kind of leaning towards that's really where the extra weight's coming from but if you guys uh, get a chance to if you come across one of these definitely pick one up I'm gonna throw this one in my museum upstairs I'm not gonna sell it because uh, again for as long as I've been doing this this is the only one I've ever seen and uh, I noticed on eBay they're they're going for about 160 to about 200, but uh, again with as rare as this is, I think I'm going to just hold on to it because it's kind of cool. It's actually in very good condition. Now the switches are broken like you normally see on uh, some of the other ones. So, and I also did re receive a uh, stack of manuals for the games. Uh, he didn't actually have that many games in the system, but I, I think they must must have gotten lost or something throughout the years, but. I love these old manuals. The artwork on it is just really cool. Uh, nowadays, you know, the stuff you buy with the new games, I don't know, they just, 
back then, you know, it, it was a little primitive, but just the thought that went into a, an 8-bit type game. Uh, if you look at the cartridge, I mean, the, the cartridge in the manuals, the games look so much better than they actually were in real life. It's almost like they uh, were trying to kind of feed you an idea about what the game might be like mentally, but when you played it, obviously, you know, you know, look at Asteroids, for example. The Asteroid game didn't look like that, it sure would now. You know, back then, Asteroids was, you know, <laughs> very primitive looking, right? So. Uh, but the, the, the cartridge art in the manuals really kind of, I think, helped sell a lot of these older games. Um, I did also receive, I believe this is from Sears, it's a telegame center. Uh, it's got a few cracks up here and down here. I'm thinking that there was probably some weight put on it. Uh, one thing I did notice about this, <laughs> it was kind of annoying. Uh, when you want to get games, there's actually some that are past this game here, but in order to get these games, you actually have to pull these out and then kind of flip, you actually have to pull two of them out just to get this one game. So, really kind of a silly design on the, uh, the, the game holder here, but uh, even though it's not in great shape, it's actually in pretty decent shape considering the age, so I'm going to go uh, put that upstairs in my museum as well. Uh, so anyways, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything, I uh, appreciate you if you throw a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. And uh, our website is at homecs.com. Uh, our phone number and email address are on there, so if you need to reach us for any questions or comments, uh, please feel free. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.